Mark, I appreciate you allowing me to tag along here at Atelier Monroe House. I get to see the finished product on IG, but now I am excited to see what goes behind building all of your looks. First and foremost, what is your fashion sense? Like, how would you describe your style? Well, I mean, I, I, I'm very conservative. I think I, I'm a guy who just doesn't try to take a lot of risks. As I'm getting older, I'm trying to expand my fashion and expand my wardrobe and I think being around all the young guys and being around uh, you know the way the world is today it's evolving and changing I think I'm, I'm trying to take more risk for sure. What are some of the young guys in the room that push your fashion sense a bit? <laughs> well I think the obvious ones are uh, Matthews and Marner. Uh, Nylander is a guy who really brings brings that, that class. Well it's funny when you look at when you break into the league to now Early on, very uniform, neutral colors, trench coat, coffee cup. Everyone essentially looked the same. Now, watching you guys look in, you all express a little bit of your personality. What's that change been like for you over time? I think it's changed a lot. Being on the road in general, before it was you were always in a suit and tie. A lot of teams going to dinner, you were you weren't allowed to wear anything but a suit and tie and to the rink and that's changed for sure. It's become more casual, but I think it gives the fans a chance to, to see you guys express themselves. And it's always fun to watch, you know, what, what different outfits are coming out across the league. Fourth game with Mark Giordano in the lineup and uh, the Leafs seem to be noticeably better as a team with him as part of it. Here's you coming back to Toronto, there's lots of fanfare and opportunity, but you, partnering with Atelier and being, you know, a face of their launch. Is, is that something you ever thought you'd see? You were going to be the, the poster boy for a menswear brand? No, I didn't. And uh, when they approached me, I was like, obviously a little, you know, taken aback for at first. But, you know, I, I really like the fact that, you know, they tell a story behind the, their brand. And with me, they were going to tell my story. And I think it relates to their brand. You know them opening up in Toronto and being you know, me being able to help them see the city and and sort of relay that to the people. I think it's been a, a perfect fit. So when you come in and you're looking for some fits, what goes through the decision matrix in terms of how you build your wardrobe? For me, it's it's all about you want to look good, but you want to feel good and and have that confidence. And there's nothing better than you know dressing well and feeling confident walking into a game or or any situation really, and, and uh, it just makes you feel better for sure. Was your family an influence in making sure that you present yourself uh, well, both obviously on the ice, but also off? Yeah, my mom's really into fashion, I'll say for sure. It uh, wasn't at the top of the list, but uh, for sure something that, you know, especially my mom, she took pride in. You know, we wanted to put some outfits together for uh, for Mark when we move into the warmer climate. So, you know, as we, you know, kind of move into California, AZ, Florida, Texas, and to Dallas, um, these are the, the looks that, that, that we want to capture when we move into the warmer climates. So I love this all linen suede, what we call city loafer, no sock we're going here. So we're going a bit full force. We're kind of pushing the needle a bit. Would mama approve of this one? I think so, yeah, it's a little, you know, not a risk for me, but it's something that uh, I'm, I'm not used to, but I, it's one of my favorites so far. So it's yeah. really, really sharp, I think. Well, you hockey dudes love to say beauty. This yeah. one's a beauty for this sure. This a beauty. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. How has it been seeing how excited other people are to have you in Toronto? It's great. I mean, to grow up here, you really get a sense of the feel and the passion for uh, for the team and for all, all the sports teams in Toronto really, but to be able to, to play here in front of a lot of family, friends, and, and uh, have, have the support of, of everyone really feels good. Can you explain, especially someone who's grown up in it, how badly you know the guys in the room want to have you know, high level success? For our group, I think 
you know, going through a lot and ups and downs. And over the years, I think the, the drive is there. Obviously, it's an incredibly tough league to just, just to get into the playoffs and then to get through the playoffs. So uh, just try to relay that message to the younger guys of how hard it actually is to win in this league. And for me, you know, you, you see the window at the end, you start, you start to feel the window closing really quickly. So really, really excited to be a part of, a, you know, a team that, uh, year in and year out is is a contender for sure.